Welcome back to another Discord.js coding video. In this, today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a daily command. This is part one of the economy series that I've decided I'm going to do. Next video will be a leaderboard command. Alright, so what you're going to need to do for this is, is you're going to have to install the, mar the module parse ms. Yep, this module right here. Install it. And once you have that, we're going to make a new file called command slash economy slash daily.js yep then make a file for your daily command now what we're going to do next is just configure the file however you want doesn't have to be the way I'm doing it but you just gotta configure it the name it has to be daily license is D Categories economy. Yep. All right. We're also going to have to require parse ms here. We're going to do const ms equals require parse ms. All right. Now for the next part. What we're gonna do inside of our module the exports function was we're gonna set an amount that we want to give somebody for running the daily command. Oops. Yep. Let amount equals. Uh, I want to give somebody. Uh, hundred coins. Yep, a hundred coins. And after this, we're gonna have to let timeout equal a number. Now, this number that we're gonna put right here for the timeout is gonna be how long they have to wait. So this is, since this is a daily command, it wants to be every 24 hours. So what we're gonna do is get the number in milliseconds for how long a day is. And that number is this. Uh, yep, that is a this number right here is a day in milliseconds, and that's very important to keep. Next, what we're gonna do is define daily, like this. Let Daily rules wait db dot fetch daily underscore message dot author dot id. Yep, we're gonna have to get the daily f for the person who used this, and we're gonna set the daily as the timeout. You'll see what I mean by that in a second. Now follow this next part. This is really important. If daily is not equal to null and timeout minus Date dot now minus daily is greater than zero. This part right here is basically saying that if daily is true, meaning that daily has been used, this right here gets how much time is left. If you understand what I mean by that. Now we're going to code for if timeout is, yeah, if there is a timeout still. Alright, we're going to do this. Let time equals ms, meaning milliseconds, timeout 
minus date dot no. Yep. Minus daily is greater than zero. Wait, oops, nope, not greater than zero. Yep, this is the time. Now we're gonna make an, an embed that shows how much time they have left to wait. They already used the daily. Um, embed equals new discord dot message embed. Alright, we're gonna set the description as you already claimed your daily coins. We're gonna make a new line real quick and say wait. Gonna be time dot hours hours time dot minutes minutes time dot seconds so Doing this shows how much hours you have left to wait, or how many hours you have left to wait, yeah? This shows how many minutes you have left to wait, how many seconds you have left to wait. We're gonna do message dot channel dot send embed. We're gonna send this embed if they have not, I mean, if they have already claimed the daily. Now, we're gonna make the second part is for if they have not claimed their daily, like this, else embed equals new discord dot message embed set description. You have Oops, I spelled this wrong, you have claimed amounts coins. Yep. We're also gonna do this DV that add Coins. I mean, your variable doesn't have to be coins, but this is gonna be whatever your money is. Like it could be like, I don't know, space matter or something. Doesn't matter. It's gonna be coins. Uh, message dot author dot id. So that is, this is the amount of coins that author that the author has. We're gonna be adding the amount, which we set up here. I set it as a hundred. You can set it as whatever you want. Yep. We're also gonna do this db dot set daily. Whoops. Daily yep. Yep. The score message dot also dot id. We're gonna set this as date dot now. Alright, this is gonna make it so that the current time, wherever you live, is gonna be set as the daily amount, so that, where is it, uh, right here, it decides if a, a full day has gone past, or not. Now, we're gonna test this out, 
a oops a daily off oh, I already clamped my daily coins oh yeah right I uh, make sure you send this in bed actually but yeah you see other than that it works it works it tells me how long I have to wait to claim again let me just test this real quick without the time limit alright yep whoops had an error but yeah it just gave me a whole bunch of coins even though it sent the message Alright, yep, and without a time limit, it works as well. It just won't send the message, but it works without a time limit. And so, yeah, that's how you make a daily command. And it works.